Hi, Brockton residents. It's me, Mayor Sullivan, uh, here at City Hall. It's, uh, it's Friday, the 26th of March. I hope you're doing well. I wanted to give you a status update relative to what's going on here in the city this week and actually into last week as well. Um, but let me first start with the COVID update, if I could. We have lost 416 residents to the deadly virus known as COVID-19. Total cases overall since the state's cal calculated is 12,000. 547 cases overall and 215 current active cases right now. So we're in a yellow classification. That's the great news, right? We trickle down from red to yellow, but we are hovering uh, close to going back to red. So we need to continue to be diligent and vigilant, social distance, wear your mask. We can't get complacent now. Uh, if you're eligible to get the vaccine, I strongly recommend that you roll up the sleeve. Uh, I'll be eligible on the 19th of April, um, and I'm going to happily go up to the Shaw Center and register and get my shot. So again, right now, uh, those that are eligible are residents 60 uh, plus um, uh, certain workers, including transit, grocery, utility, food, agriculture, sanitation, public works, and public health again. And that was as of just this week, March 22nd. So if you're eligible, you can go on the city website. You can go on the neighborhood health uh, website as well. Again, we're partnering up there. We're co-locating up there at the Shaw Center up in Feinberg. Um, last week, Governor Baker and Lieutenant Governor came to the Shaw Center. We had a wonderful uh, event up there. Uh, they were really impressed about the dedication of our local Board of Health, led by Dr. Montesir, BEMA, led by Steve Hook, and of course, Sue Joss and Dr. Maria Celli over at Neighborhood Health Center. We're all in this together. So, um, another good news, uh, Congressman Stephen Lynch, our, our wonderful congressman, came here last week and told us that within the next 60 to 90 days, Brockton will be the recipient under the uh, President Biden's American Rescue Plan of almost $36 million. It's gonna be unbelievable. We need that money to rebuild and repivot and heal from COVID, uh, the emotional, physical, financial strains of, of COVID. Um, just this week, we did a wonderful walking tour um, of downtown Brockton with Secretary Mike Keneally, who is uh, Housing and Economic Development for the Commonwealth, and also former Mayor uh, Dan Rivera, who is now the CEO of, of and President of Mass Development. Took about an hour and a half walking around. We had some state delegation members, Jerry Cassidy, uh, Michelle Dubois, Mike Brady were there as well. I thanked them as well. I know Lita Cronin uh, was in, in Boston. But listen, um, it was awesome. It was a showcase of Brockton. And uh, we are really ripe for some really wonderful economic recovery here in the city of Brockton. So I also just want to thank everybody. Last night, we did a public safety Zoom where we are proposing a modern facility housing for departments, which would be information, informational technology, BEMA, which is Brockton Emergency Management Agency, police and fire. Um, and last night it was from 6 to 7.30, over 100 people were participants. We had great questions from residents. I made a pledge uh, before, when I went before the city council to do that, and we'll continue to do that. And I want to thank Superintendent Mike Thomas, who participated, Rob May, who was the host, the city planner. Uh, Wen Fowell, the city council president, was extremely helpful on that. So again, we'll continue to have the discussion. Uh, please know that that bonding authorization of 98 million has no negative impact whatsoever without proposed uh, funding that we're gonna be doing to rehab uh, Brockton High School. And that was clear last night. Just a couple other pieces of information, if I could. Attorney General Maura Healy came to Brockton as well last week to Trinity Baptist Church. I want to thank Pastor Mark Oliver and all the team over there. Uh, we were there and we were able to show the Attorney General what people in Brockton are doing to help other people in Brockton, and the food pantry and the internet access. So it was really, really wonderful. So um, just two more pieces of information. Again, um, the Brockton Public Schools was granted the waiver by DESE, Commissioner Riley. So again, pre-K to eight students, will be fully in-person learning model as of April 26th. April 19th is a school vacation week, so hybrid will be phased out. So it's either gonna be in-person or 100% remote up to the parent guardian. So last thing, Brockton Public Library is gonna be holding a family dance uh, workout uh, via Zoom the entire month of April. So if you're interested, please check out the Brockton Public Library website. And then uh, I also wanna say that Council Yaniri in Ward 3 and Council Castro. Uh, and Ward 4 will be co-hosting a neighborhood meeting uh, to discuss proposed housing at 15 Rutland Square. Uh, and again, you can join the uh, Brockton City website, brockton.ma.us, for more information. So, 
It's really an honor and privilege to serve as the mayor of Brockton. Um, I can't say COVID is in the rearview mirror. It's not yet, but we do see that light at the end of the tunnel. So continue to be diligent and vigilant. I really am hopeful that within the next couple of weeks, we can stay consistent, consistent yellow with the hope that we really get to a green in the near future. But again, we're hovering. So let's uh, practice uh, social distance and all health standards. So I'll be back again soon. I hope that you and your family and loved ones have a great, safe weekend. Enjoy yourself. Be well. I'll see you soon. Thank you, everybody.